Well, I would like to ask you what what okay, what do you think his sentiment is? That's what I ask you. Because I can say when I was watching him talk about Jewish people, or not even just Jewish people, just an instance where Jewish people were involved, that could make sense. If all that is true, that makes sense. If these guys were put over here or were influenced by another nation to influence our nation to go to war for another nation, if that's the truth, then yeah, that is that would that would be troubling. That would be a troubling thing, right? But when you say he's spitting, when he's saying that black people are inherently lower IQ because of whatever, do you believe that that's the truth? Is there that's naturally low IQ? Or is there other factors? Because I'm always, when it comes to IQ and shit like that, I say it all the time. I think what people want to say is genetics. They say it's genetics because it ties to their argument that we are superior to these people and it allows you to put yourself above these people. But if you say, well, IQ is not directly tied to genetics. IQ is tied to environment and nature. Then you really can't look at these people in any type of way. You can't do it. Because when I was reading this Thomas Sowell book, Intellectuals and Race, he was talking about when they was doing the I test, IQ test in the First World War, the Vietnam War, and all these type of things, there was a clear distinction from the North and the South. There was black soldiers in the North that were scoring higher than white soldiers in the North. So just at that instance, that's one study, that would just show us more environment than anything else, right? Even when I said on last thing, the last thing about this one IQ scientist talking about white soldiers and black soldiers having kids in Germany and then testing those same white and black kids in Germany, and there was virtually no IQ difference in whatever, it's what are they around? What is the culture? What's the environment? If you, if you have a culture of bad education, bad schooling, why would you assume that when we give these niggas an IQ test, it's going to be good? Why, why would I think that that's going to be the thing? Also, if IQ tests were made in 1904, why would I think that black people would score high when years passed, it was even, it was looked at as people could get killed, beaten, for even teaching slaves how to read and write. So why would I think their IQ would be the highest? Why would I, like, if you just look at that, why would you think that that's the case? If IQ tests were presented in 1904, why would I think that black people would have the highest IQ when you're giving some type of testing? Right. And even to the Thomas Sowell book, he said, yeah, black people will score low on the, you know, the reading or whatever. But when it comes to like, if you actually see IQ tests, like, hey, these blocks are stacked on top of each other. Tell me how many blocks are, you know, like kind of figure it out on your own with just using your brain. I know I need to be able to read to figure this out, because if you don't understand what a word means, how are you going to understand the answer for the thing? So that goes back to not being able to read. So, of course, those metrics might be skewed. And then, like I said, you're going to now poor education. Schools are paid by housing, uh, house tax or was it property taxes? If you're in, a, in an area where the property taxes are shit, you're going to assume the schools are going to be shit. And it's like, I just, there's so many factors that go into it. So it's like, is he spitting or is he just going with what his narrative really is? Right? That's, that's how I look at it. But regardless, I want to play this clip. This is the clips that are going around on social media. These are uh, the black women that everybody's bashing when it comes in regards to Nick Fuentes, right? Well, you can say it. Yeah. Say it. Come on, man. And this is him saying the n-word and let me say this i think the optics of all these black women not this girl right here this girl right here she's visibly uncomfortable whenever all this goes down but me seeing nick fuentes saying the n-word it doesn't trigger nothing in me <laughs> i've seen plenty of clips of nick fuentes saying the n-word i can assume to know his feelings about you know black people as a whole now there might be some you know black people he might pick out that he likes myron and fresh and uh kanye west but like let's overall bar park he doesn't he isn't favorable of black people. That's not, you know, it's not hard to, to see. I want you to say it. Oh, yeah. Hey, what you got? You want me to say it? Yes. 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 Is anyone going to hit me if I say it? No. Let's go. Two hours. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
look, she done fucking with this. She done fucking with it. This the old, this really, this was the only girl who was really like, you know, kind of going back and forth with them. She had her little views. They had their views. Like she was actually giving like a good conversation, even though sometimes she might have been wrong during the conversation they was having. But she was the only one able to really break it down and have a conversation. This girl, she feel like a clear pick me. This girl is like a fake fucking law student. We don't believe you. So you might be going to law, but she that type of uh, I don't really know. She's a she's a what what a, what a fake community say. She's a wild. I don't know. I don't know about that. This is another clip. You. I don't know y'all <laughs> Look, you can see the whole mood change. This is when Myron goes to put his his uh, KKK unit on, right? Look at look. Fresh is about to get into one of his points that he never fucking makes, right? But he's gonna try to make the point. <laughs> he's looking. He's smiling. He sees Myron. Look at him. Look at his face. Go for. Oh, you can't see his face because I'm in the way. My bad. Hold on. His face goes from smiling. Uh, you see his Myron? Oh, fuck. Here we go. KKK shit again. We don't like this. Here we go. KKK shit again. God damn it, Myron. What is the point, Myron? What is the point? She's invisibly. What's the point? 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 What's Fresh is not, but what I tell you, Fresh is not fucking with this. It's to me like with the whole Fresh and Fish shit, right? I don't have a problem with no conversation, right? They had a whole podcast just there talking about Jews and the media and this, 9 11, but all that shit. Like, they're, they're good points made on all sides, right? I'm not really mad at shit like that. Cause that's, if you can historically point out somewhere, it's like, this is actually what's going on. But like the the to ed, to be the edgy racist shit is like bro what is this fucking twenty ten Call of Duty lobby type shit like Myron's like thirty something former fucking fed like what are we like what are we really doing here? Who really looks at that besides like I said a bunch of weird niggas like that's actually comedy that's actually funny like that's not even fun it's not even like a good joke a good meme it's just like cringe shit that's all it is that's cringe. Oh, I'm the KKK guy. <laughs> then you try to, with the last shit, y'all haven't seen Dave Chappelle do the uh, blind fucking Nazi thing? It's like, are you an idiot? He was blind. He didn't know he's black. You clearly know you're black, Sudanese, Egyptian, whatever the hell, Moroccan, whatever he is. Tether. Look, another tether. But anyways, that's the type of things that they had going on over there. Oh, I, I, agree with I mean, this. what is the point? I don't agree with this. What's the point? Hey, man, I heard that somebody was saying the magic word, bro. Yeah, the point is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She got to go. I got to get water. Yeah. 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 I got to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it on. My thing is, though, my thing is, it's like, why would why are they more upset about him having on a KKK hoodie? Clearly, he's not a KKK hoodie. Clearly, he's not a KKK member. He's not like David Duke or any of these guys, like, clearly. But they was all cool with the N-word shit. It's like, I don't understand it. Like, you could, my thing is, like, if you don't, if you not, if you cool with, if you cool with a literal, like, he literally looks down on your people, Nick Fuentes. We, I, all Nick Fuentes fanboy shit, don't come here with that bullshit. Y'all know that nigga don't fuck with black people. I don't even like mincing words and playing games. Y'all was cool with literal guy who don't like black people say N-word with the hard R, even though y'all told him to do it. Myron, Sudanese, a Muslim, Clearly, he's not a KKK member. Has certain views on black people, clearly. Right? Thinks black Americans are lazy. Clearly, has those type of white people, like, stereotypes on black Americans. But regardless, y'all are uncomfortable by that. This is a weird, like, dynamic to me. But then we go into the... Uh, and then All we right, go uh, into this. And then we go into the... the law. This is the lawyer. This is our future black lawyer shaking ass on a white nationalist for the fun of it. I ain't gonna lie. I think these chicks, I think these chicks would have sex with, if Nick Fuentes was down to have sex with women that he wasn't married to and wasn't white and wasn't Catholic, I feel like some of these women would have sex with Nick Fuentes just off the strength of me like, I had sex with the with the white nat, like I turned the white nationalists out, like like it's like it's a like it's a like it's a trophy, like they done hung this dude's head on the wall, like I had sex with a white nationalist. I really think they would have did that. No BS, no BS, because when I see stuff like this, right, these black and I can't put these black women on all black women. I can't do it, but it's just hard when I see, you know, I would like to see these women's Twitter. That's why that's why I like to see. Now, I'm not going to search their twitters, but I like to see their twitters. 
Because I would like to see if they did respond. How did they respond to the wasn't it Kiki, Kiki Tom? What's her name? Kiki Thomas, Kiki Palmer. The Kiki Palmer boyfriend situation. I'm curious how they react to situations like that. Or how do they react to when black men want black women to have more accountability between the black and male, a black and female, male and female relationship? How, how does that go? Right? How does that go? So, anyways. Wardu says, because a black person, you're making us look bad, and you're the damn host, so you're co-hosting. It's actually worse on Myron, if you ask me. Um, I mean, I, I, he, he, he could probably get, like, he could probably get a Tariq Nasheed, like, Coon Award, most definitely, for doing that. Like, a, like, like I said, when I see Nick Fuentes, any point from whenever I first seen him to now when he says something, I'm not in shock, and I'm not in awe, because I've either heard these things on his, on his stream before, I've seen a clip of it, what, I've seen these things. Listen, I'm not one of these people who, like, see Nick Fuentes and I have this, like, visceral reaction to him. And I've never watched nothing. I've typed in cozy.tv and see, okay, what is this nigga talking about? What does he, what does he really believe? What is, because he can, because this is the thing. He, he could put on that nice little white boy, oh, I'm just cheeky black girls, oh, that's cutie. He could put on that cheeky, you know, thing. But if you want to really know what he really believes and really thinks, you got to go to that cozy.tv because that's where he really give it up. He don't really give it up on these shows. He might say a couple things, JQ, this. Oh, yeah, statistically, black people do it. He'll say little things, but you want to get that real uncut shit, you got to go to Cozy TV. So I got to see. I got I to have you take the mask full off when you're around nothing but people who are there for you specifically and you're only there to feed them whatever ideological um movement that y'all have put together. I got to see you there. So like I said, I'm not one of people who've never seen Nick Fuentes except for clips on Twitter for Media Matters and no shit like that. I've seen him on Cozy TV. I've seen him when he was on YouTube before he even got banned from all this shit. He's been around since like 2017. Because like I said, I view all media. The same way I begin on Wardu. I begin on Wardu ass when he watch certain niggas because he praise them. Right? He love them. Like he loves Myron. He loves Sneaker. Like this is influences. I could watch Sneak and be like, that's a good point. But I don't like love these niggas. I'm not like over, you know what I'm saying? They're not my idols, right? These are Wardu's idols. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I watch everybody. But regardless, um, it is not a good look, right? I feel like out of everybody on the, they are your influences. Stop it. You said they help shape your worldview, your opinion. They are your influences. Even Jesse Lee Peterson. I watch Jesse Lee Peterson shit. I just watched Jesse Lee Peterson. What he talking about? What he got going on here? Okay, he crazy. That's crazy. That's funny. That's crazy. That's funny. That's crazy. So, I mean, what do you expect at this point, right? He's gonna do what they're gonna do. That have fell into the that have fell into the white, you know, the white thing, and then and then you can see too that even people that that they associate with, I feel like don't really want to associate with them anymore. Because there's certain ones like, okay, we take it one way, right? We'll take it, we'll, we'll, we'll do all the red pill shit. Like, yeah, women, wives, you know, do what you got to do. With a man talking, let the man talk. Um, all that type of shit. But when it get to the race shit, and you got, like, a guy who clearly, like, I am, right. like, I went a white, ethno, state, Christ, uh, Catholic only, like if he could have, if you actually if you ask him if you were to run America, how would you? You could do anything you wanted to. And I didn't say he said he gonna kill all black people, kill all Jews. I don't know if he gonna do all that. But if he was allowed to say, if I would like to remove all these people, they gotta be violently. But if I could remove all them, I would remove all them. That's what I'm saying. But what I was saying was even people who are fresh and fit collaborators, fresh and fit is are defenders of. You see people like that, like a guy like Andrew Tate, he's liking tweets from people who are weary of these type of people, right? So let me find out. I thought I favored it, but I guess I didn't. Did he unlike it? Yeah, I think he he unliked it. He likes to post about these some from some chick who was talking about the whole fresh and fit, um, Nick Fuentes, dorks type of thing, but he he unfavored it. It's not on there no more. But regardless, um, that's how I look at shit like that. Let me see. I don't know why Warders text me. He in the damn chat. 
react to this and tell me he not a top coon. No, I know, I know, I know Jesse Lee be on his Jesse Lee shit. That's not even a question. I know Jesse Lee be Jesse Lee. I know it. But sometimes that nigga do be funny. But it's like I said, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most. But regardless, um, when it comes to a guy like Nick Fuentes, it's out there on the table. I'm, I, I just think about Twitter and social media and things of that nature. It's like you see somebody one time and they do something again, and they do something again, and they do something again. It's like, stop being surprised. Stop being, like, stop being dumbfounded by it. Like, it's there. It's in your face. Like, you see it. Stop acting like it's something new every time you see this person. If you see Fresh and Fit do something that you deem anti-black, don't be surprised. They've already went, they've already went to where they're going to go. They've already went over the edge. They're over the edge already. When it comes to how they feel about black Americans, they're over the edge. It's over the edge. They're gone. They jumped off the cliff. It started with the Shaniquas and the Bonquitas, and then it went to the I've been preach, and it went to the blacks are lazy, this and that, or this. We're immigrants. We come here and we do yada, yada, yada. Cool. Let's discount everything that niggas have ever been through. Let's discount all that. Discount it all. Y'all niggas just lazy. Now, are there some people that's just lazy? <laughs> I am sure. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna sit here and try to be pseudo intellectuals and all this type of shit and don't think that environment affects the way your brain pro we're not gonna do like we're not gonna do all that because this conversation is very very nuanced i think me and bryce are talking about in the car even with the whole nature versus nature versus nurture thing think about those old like black movies old black like hood movies where you see like these people all live in the hood but there's people that make it out of the situation. When you see those people that make it out of the situation, 99% of the time, what does their home life look like? It looks like their mom and daddy not playing around. They coming home. They saying, where your school work? Where your book work? Where you this? And that's not to say that those kids with that family don't get led astray. Because there's motherfuckers from the suburbs that have parents that have $500,000 houses that get sucked into a life. That's, I don't even understand how you got sucked into that life. You're not even from that. But that also, from in my opinion, goes to media. I think people like that who live in the suburbs, that go down a life of crime and do whatever, whatever, who've had a great life, who've had parents that want to nurture them and put them on the next level, they get warped in the idea of what a black person is, and they get warped into the worst media stereotype of what it is, and they roll into that in there. That's how I look at shit like that. And I've said that plenty of times, so it ain't nothing new. But regardless, Wardu says it's arguably worse than anything Myron and Nick could do or say because he's an actual black man saying, are you talking about Jesse Lee Peterson? You talking about Jesse Lee Peterson and the Robert whatever? Are you talking about Jesse Lee Peterson? Let me see. Hold on. I know you sent it to me. Robert Perkins. Is this shit long? Pause. Man, this shit thirty four minutes. This shit thirty four minutes. Watch this long ass thing. <laughs> but like I said, I know, I know, I know, I know what Jesse, I know what Jesse, uh, I know what Jesse Lee Peterson me on. I know. What do you want me to watch this long? Bro, it's 34 minutes. Men a week. And when men a week, the family falls apart. He talks a the bit. community falls apart. The country go to hell.